hello guys welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness youtube channel my name is lawa luchalalawa and in case you are watching this channel for the first time this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture and if that is exactly what you've been looking for kindly click on subscribe button to have access to more educating and impactful videos thank you so much so uh, on today's episode i will be talking about uh, a very very important aspect of planting production so if you are a planting farmer or you want to go into planting farming this video is a must for you you must watch it to the end so now uh, I'll be talking about ways by which you can prevent or you can maintain your planting farm to be disease free you can have a disease free planting farm and when we talk about disease disease is something that is common to all crop not only crop to all farm animals to all crop each crop have their own particular disease and plantain is not an exception so i'm uh, talking about disease in plantain uh, it's one of the things that reduce productivity and if you are not careful if you are being struck with some disease like panama disease on your farm just forget it if you don't lose the whole farm you've been losing nothing less than 50 percent of the farm so i want to make vi this video about how you can actually protect yourself or uh, have a kind of prevention about disease on your farm the number one thing you must do as a planting farmer who is establishing for the first time if you are going into planting farming for the first time i will advise you to check your land number one thing is that don't choose a marshy land a land that is waterlogged don't choose it for planting farming it's a taboo that marshy land is good for planting it's not good for planting because marshy land actually have a whole lot of nematode in the soil so that's number one thing you must avoid marshy land and the number two thing is that the number two thing is that if you have the means if you have the means you should take some soil sample and test for the nematode load in the soil so doing this nematode test i'm talking about you just take some soil sample and you take it to your lab to do nematode load test for you the result will be able to tell you if the level of the nematode in your soil if the nematode load is very very high I will advise you to look for another land or possibly you treat it with nematicide and the best way you can treat soil that is infested with nematode is by heat treatment and this heat treatment I'm talking about the most easy and the most uh, cost effective and that will not cost you a whole lot is doing a uh, bush burning which I don't I don't actually promote as an agri consultant because we are trying to prevent uh, ozone layer we are trying to guide against climate change and all this sort but the only way you can do nematode treatment effective and cost effective is do is through a uh, bush burning so you have to treat your soil and if it is nematode high you have to treat your soil before you even think of establishing and another thing, the number three factor you must put in place to have a disease-free planting farm is by sourcing for soccer from LD farm. Now, I made mention of this in one of my planting video. Whenever you want to set up your planting farm, don't just, and you want to do it big, don't just give somebody money, then they will send planting soccer down to you. I will advise you to visit the farm you are getting soccer from yes definitely because if you end up getting soccer from a disease farm definitely there's no way to worry about it you are importing those diseases into your farm because soccer are product of the parent plant so any soccer you take is taking the disease of the parent plant so i will advise you to visit where you are getting your soccer from or only buy from reputable people 
not all these online Facebook people looking forward to it. So that's it, number three factor I will We're talking about the number four factor. The number four factor I will be talking about is that you have to treat your soccer before planting them. It will amaze you, yes. You have to treat your soccer before planting them. You soak it in insecticide and nematicide. It is very, very advisable. When you do this, you are already, as in, you are guaranteeing yourself that, okay, anytime soon you will not be seeing any disease on your farm. And it's very, very essential to guide against losing your investment. So while establishing, I will advise you that you follow the standard uh, spacing. After that, another thing you must put into place to avoid disease on your farm is that you must weed regularly. Don't allow your farm to be very, very bushy. Now, you may be asking me, how does, what does weed have to do with disease? Now, weed and disease have correlation. And the correlation is that weed, you might be thinking that weed will only compete for plant food. Weed will compete for plant food, water and sunlight with your, with your planting, which is not good when we are talking about our productivity. But also, 50% of pests and diseases that are found on any farm are being introduced through wheat. Yes, you heard me right. If you have a very bushy farm, those wheat will serve as a, a, kind of, uh, uh, a kind of house, a kind of accommodation to the pests that will cause disease on your farm. So make sure you weed your farm regularly and make sure you maintain a very clean uh, and LD. Um, the number five point I'll be talking about is that you have to prune all those brown dead leaves on your planting. You have to prune them. Because if you don't prune them, it will harbor some kind of yamoyama pest. So prune them and let the planting tree, let them have a very, let them have some breeding space, please. So do it, it's for your own good. And lastly but not the least, you have to spray nematicide intermittently maybe in a period of every six months just spray because the number one enemy of planting farming is nematode don't let anybody tell you uh planting doesn't have disease the number one enemy of planting the the organism that causes disease and low productivity low yield everything non-production in planting the number one is nematode so to guard against this, you have to be spraying your soil, your plantain, especially around the base of your plantain, intermittently, at least every six months, you spray it with nematicide. And with this, if you actually carry out everything about this, if it is not your village people, you'll be cashing out to the bank and your plantain will be producing so well and you will not be seeing any kind of diseases on your farm, provided you, you follow the good agricultural practice. Fertilizer is very important. Manure is very important. Weeding, spacing, everything. Put everything in order and you plant at the, at the right time. So with this, I've come to the end of today's topic and I hope you got value from this video. If you actually got value from this video, kindly give it a like and share with your friends. And if you have any kind of further questions, drop it in the comment section, then we'll take it from there. I'm, often, I'm, I'm also open for consultation. If you want some kind of consultation with me, you want me to troubleshoot the trouble that is facing your farm, just drop a message for me on WhatsApp on the number appearing on your screen. And then we'll take it from there. Thank you for your time and see you on my next video. Shishi.